And I will give the word to the last speaker this morning, that is Elson Lair. He will talk about reproductive traits of Patagonian spread, a comparison with other clubioidae uh, in, oh, clubioidae in different spawning habitats along the Cancel. Chilean coast. Cancel. Okay. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. My name is El Sol Leal. I work in the Futurist Development Institute of Chile. Um, this work is basically um, a comparative reproduction study between three small pelagic fish in the coast of Chile, uh, but with emphasis in the reproduction traced of the Spratus foregensis. Um, this is Spratus foregensis, or Patagonian Sprat. Well, the, the presentation is separate in two sections. Um, first, uh, I wanna uh, show a reproductive study of Patagonian spread. Uh, the type of re reproduction, spawning season, maturity size, and fecundity. Then I wanna show a comparative study with the reproductive try of the other um, small pelagic fish, uh, Strangomera and Tinky, uh, Sardina and in Graulis ring, ringens uh, anchovy in different spawning habitat in the Chilean coast. Uh, we compared the spawning season and the environmental cycle um, through the sea surface temperature and the sea surface chlorophyll uh, through the satellite data. Um, the maturity length and fecundity, the relationships between fecundity and excise. Um, okay, and the distribution of Spratus fragrances is on the extreme south of South America and on Atlantic Ocean from the 40 and the Pacific Ocean coast from the 4130 in the south of Fjord and the south of Chile. And this study, uh, the, da the data for the analysis was taken from the fishes monit monitoring by the EFOP. Uh, between 2006 and 2009, and in the southern fjord of the Chilean area. Uh, the type of reproduction and maturity length in the spawning season uh, was uh, worth study through the histological ovary state and gonosomatic index, index in the case of spawning season. And the fecundity was a study from the gravimetric method, the classic gravimetric, uh, gravimetric, gravimetric method. <clears throat> okay, Re result quickly. Uh, uh, the Spratus uh, fogensis uh, show a classical uh, batch spawner or asynchronous ovulator uh, with all, seated, all, seat, all sites in all stage of development at presenting the same ovary. Um, the graphic, uh, the figure show uh, the histological preparation of Spratus fragensis in different <coughs> stage of development. And the spawning season in this species is concentrated in the second half of the year uh, between Jan and December, but concentrate in the spring in uh, southern hemisphere um, in September and October. Um, in this case, the GSA uh, show a high coincidence with the proportion of uh, maturity over the stage. Um, the GSA can be good up, a good approximation of uh, reproductive activity on this species. Um, the maturity length wa uh, was estimated uh, in, in 13.5 centimeter and the batch fecundity is a preliminary uh, result because the sample size was uh, very low. Uh, uh, we obtained a few number of female leaders without uh, pups. Uh, but that, remember, the, the important here is the, the low and, and, and high um, um, number of seed of, of by female. No? 1,000 uh, low and 6,000 uh, by high girth. 
<clears throat> okay, here is the more interesting uh, part of the presentation, is the comparative study between the three small pelagic fish. Um, these three species are present a similar uh, size and are present in the, in the Gulf of Chile. Uh, in Graulis rinkens in the north, this is a, a typical anchovy. Uh, Strangomera ventinki in the center area is a sardine. And the Spratofeguensis in the south of Chile. <clears throat> okay, and this graphic shows the GSA of the three species in the different sun. In the north, center, and south of Chile, uh, for the Ingraulis rinkens, uh, uh, for the anchovy, sardine, and sprat respectively. And we can see the similar pattern in the GSA uh, with a high coincidence in the um, spawning season in the September and October. But in Ingraulis rinkens, the, the spawning season is, is longer in the north of Chile. Sorry. Uh, here we are at the um, time of series of temperature in the three area, uh, the north, uh, center, and south of Chile. And we can see a latitudinal gradient, um, but a, a similar variability, uh, uh, monthly variability with a maximum in each area in, in January and February, with, but with a clear difference in, in the magnitude. <clears throat> and the graphics show the, the relationships between temperature and GSA for the three species in each, each area. And we can see um, as, uh, association uh, where the, the maximal, the, the, the spawning season is, is before than the annual temperature in each area. Uh, uh, here we are, uh, the small data of the monthly color file cycle in center and south area. And the, the graphics show an, an harmonic annual cycle with the high values between October and February in, in each area. Uh, for the north, uh, we are still working, uh, uh, we're still uh, analyzing the chlorophyll data. Okay. Um, however, um, Juras show a similar uh, pattern to the north and the south uh, with an harmonic cycle uh, uh, for the chlorophyll in the both area. Sorry. <clears throat> uh, like a, a same case uh, uh, with the, the, the temperature, we can see um, a good association between the spawning season and, and chlorophyll uh, cycle annual. Um, they have a have a relationship with a much 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 hypothesis that Hutchin. I'm sorry. The maturity length uh, was longer in the Spratus fragensis. Uh, for the another species, we took at uh, the estimated from the previous uh, literature data, and we can see a clear difference in, in this parameter. In the case of batch fecundity, we observe a clear difference. We have a dub with the uh, fecundity in spread, uh, uh, but uh, like uh, basically by, by the number of, of sample size. But the another species show a clear difference in the, this parameter. And finally, we compare the uh, excise, and we took the data uh, from the previous literature, and, we, and in the case for the anchovy, uh, we took directly the uh, measure uh, from the to the excise 
For the nodal species, we estimated uh, through the egg diameter. And we estimate a, a clear difference also in the, in this, uh, in the egg size volume. Um, in summary, we can see uh, probably we had a, a trade-off between the number and an egg size in the three species through the latitudinal gradient. Um, finally, the, the conclusion, sorry for the mistake. I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, the conclusion, uh, <clears throat> which show a similar pattern in the spawning season of the three species concentrated in the southern hemisphere spring, uh, is consistent with the high biological production cycle and increases temperature in the spring in each spawning area. Um, the mean length and maturity of Spratosphugensis was 13.5 centimeter. It's a larger body maturation compared with uh, another body species. Um, probably uh, water temperature have an important effect on the fecundity and egg size of several of the three species of a small pelagic fish. In the Chilean coast, um, we observed a trade-off in the number and egg size uh, low fecundity and bigger excise at thousand spawning area. Um, and, and the reproductive strategy of a small pelagic fish, including a spawning season, female maturity size, number, and egg, and egg are probability to enhance uh, offspring survival under specific spawning environmental conditions. So thank you very much. <clears throat>